Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new unit in depth review. Uh, yesterday I did Ariman, and I think today it's a good moment to do Typhus. Uh, Typhus is another uh, psyker uh, from the Codex of the Chaos Space Marines and is also a special and uh, independent character. He is dedicated to the God of Nurgel. So let's go first to the profile and then let's talk about uh, what are the uses and what are the strengths and weaknesses of this guy so he's costing 230 points and have weapon skill 6 ballistic skill 5 strength 4 toughness 5 4 wounds initiative 5 3 attacks leadership 10 and 2 plus 6 because he's on terminator armor so then means that also have the 5 plus invulnerable save. Uh, he has uh, blight grenades that are defensive grenades. Uh, he has the artifact Min Reaper. Uh, the Min Reaper is uh, a melee weapon that is plus 2 strength, AP2, and is a demon weapon, force, and unwieldy. So it's very strong. It's unwieldy, so you go in initiative 1, but it's AP2 plus 2 strength and is demon weapon, so it can deliver a lot of damage, a lot of pain. Uh, he has the ability, uh, the Warlord trait, Lord of Terror, so it causes fear, not a big deal uh, in most of uh, when you play against most of the armies. He has the rules Champion of Chaos, so have to uh, accept and uh, challenges and, send and issue challenges anytime he can. Uh, he has the Destroyer Hive. Destroyer Hive is an ability that can use once per turn. You put the uh, the big blaster centered on, on Typhus, and all the miniatures touched by the blast will suffer. Uh, or, or, or all the units that are touched by the by the blast will have an equal number of hits to the number of miniatures under the blast. And this blast will have a strength for AP2. Is not bad if you're fighting against, for example, space marines. You will can, you can cause some damage, but especially this is going to be used when you are in close combat. Of course, when you do that, you cannot use your close combat weapon uh, and it goes at the initiative uh, 5 of Typhus. Uh, he also has fearless special rule, feel no pain, independent character, mark of Nurgle that is already put in the profile, uh, this is why he has toughness 5. Uh, he has flake zombies so he can you you and when we talk about the cultists, we talk a little, we can talk this a little bit more. But he can convert the cultists into zombies. So uh, the cultists, as a zombies, are losing their close combat weapons, but they have a series of abilities that can make him them very resilient. So they have they will make a, like a, yeah close combat guys with a feel no pain. Uh, his Psyker level 2 Norgle and he must take, uh, he imaginates his powers from Norgle and is veteran of the long war, so have hatred to space marines and of course have the plus one to leadership, but there's already leadership 10. And on, on top of that, if he is the, uh, if in the primary uh, detachment that includes a Typhus, playing marines are two choices instead of elites. What is also quite a good ability. This is, I will say, one of the most popular um, independent characters in the Chaos uh, Space Marines book. He has good abilities like um, the Plague Zombies, making the Plague Zombies are quite strong. Uh, you will, because Plague Zombies are, are going to be close combat um, Imperial Guard uh, that are fearless and have feel no pain. Uh, he can um, um, he make the plague marines troops, but is also very good because the plague marines are considered one of the strongest units in the codex, and is very very resilient. Have armor two plus, have five i four wounds, and have toughness five. So only and uh, really have not eternal warrior, but only a strength 10 weapons can kill him automatically, and of course a strength D weapons. So it, it's making him quite resilient, quite strong. So it's it's quite uh, good. Then in in on the battlefield, it's have not shooting abilities, but he's 
have done the shooting weapon, but he has the, um, the powers of Nurgle. As he has the mark of Nurgle, he will have the primary uh, power plus two random powers, what is not very bad in, uh, uh, with the new rules. And, the, and this is what is going to give him some, uh, sh can give him some shooting abilities. Uh, they are going to be very short range, uh, only the, really, only, only the, yeah, it's going to be about uh, range 6 for the primary because it's a Nova. And then if you take the, the number 3, it's going to be range 12. So you really don't, will not have um, a lot of range. And then you have a malediction, two maledictions, that one is 40, uh, 24 inches and the other one is 48 inches. Uh, but the malediction, to be fair, the gift of contagion is not super strong unless you want to go uh, in close combat against the unit. So, uh, to be fair, uh, it's a guy that is operating uh, close to the enemy, especially in close combat or um, at, at, at the range of 6 inches or, or 12, 12 to 6 inches to be able to use the Siki powers. But this is not a problem. He is very resilient, so he can also be engaged. Of course, I will always consider this character to go inside of a plague marine unit or something like that to give some extra protection. Normally, if he's not, he can be targeted very easily and be killed um, quite easily today in, in as with the meta we have today in the Warhammer 40k. But yeah, if I compare him with Animan with the same cost. Of course, he has not the uh, the same psychic strength, the same psychic powers, but I f I find uh, Tifus more uh, yeah m more balanced. It's m it's much more resilient than Ariman. Uh, he's less offensive in long distances. Ariman can be can operate at long distances, but in close combat, Tifus is really much stronger than Ariman. So. It is low because it goes on Terminator armor, so it, he will need also a delivery system and um, well, delivery vehicle. That in the case in the case of Spiderman, it only can be the Land Rider, or you just uh, put him in a big cloud of uh, zombies, for example, that are very cheap, and they can just move uh, forward uh, and yeah, and control the the midfield. So it's not a bad guy, uh, and and yeah, and have quite a, a good compen a, a good balance between uh, abilities to boost your army, like uh, making the plague marines and the zombies, and is quite strong in close combat, having some abilities that can be quite uh, scary, and the Norgal uh, powers are not strong, but are not bad neither. So overall, this is why he's quite popular, and this is why he's. Uh, is used a lot because especially because you can have or plague zombies and and, and they and, and you can put your your plague marines as troops and and that's all for the for this guy uh if you like him please leave your comment below what do you think him did you do fight did you fight him on the battlefield or you fight with him on the battlefield uh, very interesting to see the comments and if there is any unit that you want to review and I, I want to look uh, Yeah, I, if it's on on one of the armies that I used to play I can do the review if it's not an I is it not on my armies I prefer not to do because I don't review units that I know a little bit how they work and I'm a little bit familiar with them so that's all what I wanted to show in that video. Please leave your comment below, like if you like it, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.